Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Avorian with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the aftermath of a rather large fight against the Zotan. In today's episode, we're going to be going out and making ourselves some glorious, glorious credits, because we are about to start our final preparations to enter the center of the galaxy, with very powerful enemies and the Guardian boss trying to destroy us almost instantly, it would be very nice to ensure that our ship has all of its stuff up to date. Honestly, our ship is pretty good, but it could do with some improved shields, some new weapons, and some more expensive fighters, which of course, as you can probably tell by the name, are incredibly expensive. So today, we are doing trading. Now, trading is something I have very minimal experience with in this game, because honestly, it's overpowered as sin. It's very easy, at least from what I've seen, to get a lot of money very quickly. And that's what we're going to do today. As I do want to experience all this game has to offer, I think it's only fair we get ourselves an advanced trading system a little bit better than the blue ones I have here, and then go out to find the most profitable trading sections. It is certainly a fairly interesting thing within the game. Like I'm saying, I do like seeing all of the aspects of a game. I'm just just hoping it isn't quite as overpowered as it seems to be. Maybe I'll find out some more complexities about it and end up having some new respect for this particular way of making money, or perhaps I'll end up being completely filthy rich with minimal effort and I'll just be content with my money. So let's repair ourselves, dink, and let's get going then. So I want somewhere with a research station and an equipment dock or at least one of the two. This has both, so I'll go over there, and then we can see if they have a better version of the trading module I have. Plus, anyway, I do need to visit a regular research station because, well, I've got a lot of stuff to throw away. Honestly, the blue version of the trading system might actually be good enough. The only major difference between the blue and the more upgraded versions is normally it will allow you to see trade routes between different sectors. This one, however, will only show us trade routes in this sector. Also, why do I still have the hyperspace overloader currently installed? Goodbye. Hello to you! So now we can go over here to the trading overview, and as you can see, currently from the Antigrav unit factory, that one over there, you can purchase Antigrav units and sell them to the shipyard. There's also power units being sold to the shipyard, and solar power plant is providing energy cells which can be sold to the power unit factory. Now this one is the one I'm most interested in, because of course, as you can see, the profit is huge. You can purchase them for 16,978 and sell them for 25,786. So almost, well, just over 8,000 credits of profit which is pretty darn nice to be perfectly honest. I was meant to say almost 9,000. I can do math. First though, I would like to do some research, so let's see if we can find ourselves some lovely new weapons or some lovely new modules. I'm still on the lookout for a very good shield module. I do have one here, which is pretty good honestly, plus 120% power to your shields, but it does come with a big negative of minus 32% generated energy. And since currently we are focusing mostly on energy-based weapons for that lovely constant damage, it is a bit of a harsh payment. I prefer the ones which give you a definitive energy consumption negative, such as this turret control here, just costing 0.48, rather than the percentage-based ones, because normally at this size of ship, the percentage ones are absolutely brutal. Oh, come on, really? No docks? Now, a few people did tell me that sometimes there are actually docks on ships like this, just when your ship is so big, they don't show up. Although, by the looks of things, even in my little mining drone, I can't see anything. Also, this research station seemed tiny in my battleship, and now I'm in this, it's like, nope, actually ridiculously huge. Nothing at all. Well, that's just grand, isn't it? I do want to do the research first, though, before we do anything else. So I'm going to go off and hopefully find another research station nearby, which does actually have docks. 
so we can land and do all that lovely stuff. There we are. Hyperspace upgrade, massive upgrade indeed. So where is the next research station? Okay, a little message to the developer. If you are ever watching my videos, I love you. Your content is fantastic. This game is glorious. But please, give me a way to search easily for certain things. Because I know for a fact there is a research station down here other than the one I'm currently at. I know this. But I can't sodding find it because there's no easy way to search for it. I've been here now for five minutes. And soon I'm going to give up and go all the way up here where I know there is definitely one which I think is in one of these. Somewhere. Even that one I'm not certain of. There it is. And that is far too far away. Back to hunting. Research station. Maybe it's because I'm dyslexic and I just find things like this difficult anyway. I can't skim read very easily. There it is, and I've definitely put my mouse over it before as well. Okay, so let's do the jump I'd already planned. Also, apparently there are enemies here in the form of enemy loaders. Okay, evil civilians! Where's my teleport section? There it is. Okay, hyperdrive! Go! And then I'll do one more jump, then I can do the research, then I'll come back here, because honestly that trade seemed decent. Although apparently some of the trades can be worth far more, at least from what people have been telling me. In fact, let's just quickly install it again. In this section, we have nothing. There is no trade in this area. Oh, well, of course not. There's just a single mine. Well, that makes sense. Where was it? We looked at it a second ago. Oh, it's this one, isn't it? Yep, it's that one. Trading post, resource depot, shipyard, repair dock, equipment dock, silicon mine, satellite factory, paint manufacturer, research station. Yes! That sounds like trades and everything. Excellent. Do you know what I love in this game? That you can threaten people very easily and get almost no negative repercussions. If I go ahead and find, let's say, a salesman who has cargo, I threaten him, now dump your cargo, dump it or else, then he dumps it, I get no negative with that faction. There's just loot now, ready for me to grab. I won't grab it because it's stolen, then I'll have to go to the smuggler's hideout, which I really can't be bothered with right now. But even so, it must be rather easy to be a pirate in this game. Will this place have a research station which actually sodding works? Be lovely if that's the case. It's down there. Like right next to me apparently. Okay. Equipment dock. Upgrades. Oh yes! View trading offers for the last three sectors. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, let's grab that first, then go to the research. Ooh, or maybe I should do the opposite so I don't accidentally scrap this. I trust myself enough. Now, where's your docks? You do have docks, right? I can see one right there. You definitely have them. Yes, you do. Good. Gently now. Don't crash. Everything will be fine. I could go in my mining drone. There we go. Gimme. Thank you. Just to make sure I don't scrap it, let's actually equip it. There we are. Now to do some research, which is incredibly boring, and I'll show you the results of my hard work there. Probably will be very little, knowing me, but even so. Oh. Why is everything so close together here? Also, look at that loader. That loader just hit that. That's why half of these things are gone, by the way, these docks, because loaders hit them. We've just finished melting down all of the modules, and now we have a few new legendary modules to show for it. The main one of interest is the energy to shield converter, which gives me a grand total of plus 157% shield power. Obviously, this is remarkably powerful, however, it does drain almost 40% of my power as a result, so I'm not sure if I'll end up using this, but right now, we're actually in a really good position for our energy usage, and during our upgrade session, I'm going to be converting a lot of the lower quality stuff into higher quality stuff on the ship itself, so some of the generators will be changed in terms of their material to better ones. So. I may keep that around rather than selling it. It is very powerful. This may be one of the worst combinations of effects I've seen in a while. It doesn't seem that bad until you realise that it actually negates the purpose of the gun. This quad plasma turret is actually pretty powerful. It does cost a fair bit of energy, but the increase isn't too bad. Now, at the bottom, it does bonus damage to shields, of course, like all plasma, plus 117. 
And then it also has a 14% chance of penetrating shields. There's a chance that this quad plasma gun with its anti-shield properties may hit the hull when the enemy still has shields. The whole point of plasma is that it's powerful against shields and terrible versus hull. I don't know, I just found that kind of funny. It's not that terrible, at least you're doing some internal damage, but imagine if every single one of your plasma guns had had this combination of effects. It would be really weird and bad choices. Depending on how bad the cooldown is, this may be one of the best guns I've ever made, the triple chain gun turret. It's simple, but really devastating. 6.8 fire rate for a damage of 138. It's just a very basic, good gun, and it even has a decent range. So I just want to see how bad the cooldown actually is. If it's not utterly dreadful, we may end up keeping this rather than converting it into a legendary. So, gun, fire! Well, it takes a very, very long time to overheat, so that's a very good start indeed. And about to finally hit the overheat threshold. That's not bad. I'm definitely keeping that. Annoyingly, I just lost the odds on four of these exceptional items and then got one exceptional back, which means now, to get a legendary, we only have 60% chance. There is a 40% chance we just get an exotic back. Then after this, we go back into trading. It's a repair turret. It's a legendary repair turret. I'm not even going to comment. I'm just going to go now. So now it's time to actually do the title of the video and do some trading. So with the high-tech trading system, you can see here that we can view trading offers of all stations in this sector and any trade routes in the last three sectors. And as you can see, apparently it's none, at least in this area. So we need to jump somewhere else. A little bit surprising, but that's fine. I don't really know which things we should be going for, like, I think we should avoid mines and just find somewhere with a lot of manufacturing stuff. For instance, this one here has power unit factories, wire manufacturers, and transformer factories. And then there's plenty of other stuff nearby as well, so... Do I actually need to visit each of these sectors? Display trade routes in the last three sectors, so yeah, I need to actually bounce between them then to get the full site, so we should go from here, to here, to here, and then everything will be okay. For money! So a little bit of a bug, if we now go into the trading overview, you can see that here we have satellites being created and sold to the research station over here. Now both of them are actually in that last sector which we were just in. So clearly if you equip the trading, um, the high-tech trading module, whatever it's actually called, it doesn't immediately work in the zone you are currently in. So you may need to jump around a bit for it to start working. In the sector we are in currently, they are selling these to here for a very very low amount of profit. Let's have a quick look see. How many do you actually have available for me to purchase? Lots, and they're actually very low volume, so although it does seem like very little, we could get a load of those in our dock and sell each of them for essentially double. So that's a very high profit percentage. Okay, let's do that once and see how much money we can make with a full load of that in our cargo hold. We've just purchased every single one they had available, not quite filling up our cargo hold, but costing us 1 million credits. So now, I should go over to, who was purchasing them, the power unit factory, which apparently is right next to it. So from moving from there to there, I'm going to make almost 1 million credits profit. As you can imagine, if you find the most profitable versions of these type of things, you could be very, very rich very, very quickly. Because I really don't think this is the most profitable one ever. I've definitely seen higher. One thing I didn't take into account, and that's why we're doing this today, is that you actually have to be somewhat mindful of the stock they already have available to them. Because right now, it doesn't really want many more of these. I've got loads of them, it doesn't need them, because it's actually low on the energy cells, which aren't being made here. So, a bit weird, I admit, but that's completely reasonable. Should have checked beforehand, simply didn't. 
So another part of trading is that you can actually do things like this. So right now we could purchase solar cells at minus 25% of their regular cost, or if we had any of these, we could sell them at an increased cost. It shows us the percentages and who we should sell to and who we shouldn't, which is very, very cool indeed. Now this is beautiful. We can sell the things we have just been purchasing for even more than the previous zone to this teleporter factory here because it doesn't have many in stock. Essentially, it's a very basic premise, but if a station or a factory or whatever doesn't have much of a particular resource, they will pay extra for it. However, if they have loads of it, as was the case in the last area, they will pay very, very little for it. So let's just dock here. We purchased these for less than 100 and we are selling them for 288. I am completely okay with that. So there we are, we just made 3.2 million credits, so in this very short time, even with me faffing around, I've managed to make over 2 million in profits. I am completely okay with this. It seems like keeping the module on for as long as possible is very, very good indeed, because you start to build up things like this, and this even shows the thing we just did. The Transformator Factory, XL, you can purchase the Transformers, and then you can go all the way over to the Teleporter Factory to sell them for this much. That is exactly what we did. Now one thing I could do while I'm here is go to the Silicon Mine and purchase Silicon, and then go over to the Solar Cell Factory, which which is in the area we just came from, and sell them for almost double the price. The same goes for the solar cells, although I will have to leave this area straight away. Although, um, very importantly, this is in the area we're going to, and it both sells and purchases in the same sector. So sure, I'll go ahead and purchase some silicum. Silicum. It's a weird word. Although sadly it doesn't have all that much in stock, I will purchase everything anyway. Does it just take time to showcase the trading routes? This is really weird. Why now I'm back here? Is it not showing me the one it was just talking about? I am very, very confused right now. Well, even with all of that insanity, as you can see, we can indeed sell the solar cells to this repair dock, up to 200 of them, and the solar cells are being sold right over here. So I'm not sure why this is not showcasing that. I am very confused right now, to be perfectly honest. Perhaps turn turning it off and on again might work? It's definitely a trade route, and it showcased it when I left the area. Hmm, not too sure if this is a bug or I'm missing something really obvious. Or of course, it could be both. And either way, still making a fortune by doing it this way. Now this is a very nice one. We have the teleporter factory here, which will sell teleporters. And has quite a few in stock for 14,000 each. We can then sell them to the trading post in the same sector, and this one will purchase them for 42,000 each, although it will only hold a maximum of 416, if that is indeed 86. I always mix up the 6s and the 8s in this game. Don't really know why, just they keep on throwing me. So let's go ahead and do that. We just do this in the area, pop off to a new area, and everything's fine. Now before I teleported over here, I actually ran into the problem of the trading overview not even opening anymore. So there's clearly a few weirdnesses going on there, but hopefully nothing too bad. Also whilst we're here, let's have a look at this. We can buy from stations, or we can sell to stations. All of these are pluses, that's not really what we want. We want a large minus, like the teleporters, like we're about to purchase now. But also scrap metal is incredibly cheap here at only 11, although it's a massive volume, so not going to pick that up anyway. So yeah, I will say there is a little bit more to trading than I originally thought in this game. I still think it could be fleshed out a bit more from what I've seen so far, but everything seems to be pretty cool. Definitely the easiest way to make money by a long shot though. Not that that's a bad thing, or a good thing, depends on how you want to play. 
It's at times like this, it's fairly obvious that I do not have all that much hull space. Considering this vehicle was never made to be a trader or any sort of hoarder of stuff, I don't actually have much hull space at all, so I can't even grab all of the ones of these I actually want. I can only grab 295 teleporters. I could have grabbed more, but I simply didn't have space for it. So more hull space is definitely required if we're going to keep on doing this to purchase some really big upgrades soon. And then over to the trading post. Whoa, that was a lot of profit. Actually, that was more profit than I originally thought. That was lovely. We're now up to 19 million already. So let's go ahead and grab the other teleporters we need, sell it back to the trading station, and then find a new trade route. If we can get to 100 million before the end of this video, I will be happy. And apparently, that's very easy to do. People have told me stories of how they got 200 million in about 30 minutes or less very, very easily by finding certain trade routes. Apparently some of them are just really, really profitable. Similar to this one, I imagine, but probably better. And they were probably using ships, which didn't have to take more than one run. Zanian, hello there. I would like to see if you have cargo bay. Of course you do. Transform block tool. This. Boom. Now we have 6,805 cargo bay. Because this originally was just a huge section of hull. It had absolutely no purpose. I thought I may as well upgrade it. So there we are. Much better. I wonder if this is just hull as well. It probably is. Yeah, so I could easily transform this as well, because it doesn't really matter so much with my outside armor, since I am going to try my best to go into a full shield build as much as possible as we continue, so this is fine. Also, weapons can still be mounted on this. So now we have 8,273.7 cargo hold. That's much better. The teleporters are constantly being sold. I've only just topped them off to 500, and as you can see, they now want more anyway, although they are now paying less because of how close they are to their maximum, so that is certainly something to bear in mind. Now back to the trading overview, is there anything else we can do here before we jump off to a new section? There are a few bits here and there, but nothing which wouldn't take us out of this area. And honestly, it's nothing really too exciting in terms of profit either. So, let's jump again, and let's see what other types of trades there are. I would like to see what is the best, what is the very best trade you can get. Is there one particular item which has ridiculously high profit margins, similar to this one, but hopefully even higher? We are now on 22 million, and that was fairly easy. Once again, we are in an area in which the trade routes are not being shown until we leave, and in this case, it is with the turbines. So I've just purchased 590 of them, and selling them for a very tidy profit indeed. But right now, it's not showing me any trade routes, and I've just came from here. I'm not too sure why some areas don't allow you to see any trade routes, but as soon as you leave them, it goes back to being normal. It's very, very odd indeed. And I don't think it's anything to do with how far I'm jumping either. I've tried very short jumps, and then I've tried very long jumps, and it just seems like sometimes it, it will tell you the trade routes from where you are and where you've been, and other times it just shows you nothing. It's very bizarre. Now I've teleported, it's telling me about the trade I just did. But if I go back there, this once again vanishes, and so does everything else on this list. I am really confused right now. Also, you want me to purchase platinum. Although I actually have my own platinum mine, so that would be a bit silly, but even so. A thought just crossed my mind. Perhaps the trading routes change and shift as you are teleporting around, and that's what causes the issue of them simply not showing up. Although it doesn't account for all of the issues I'm having with even these screens not always working correctly. So, maybe it is just early access game being early access, or maybe it is all explainable. If you spend more time doing things like this, it becomes more and more obvious. So, anything too interesting here? Metal plates can be bought and sold for a decent bit of profit, same with a lot of these other items as well. 
I'm currently here. Okay. Now we are on 37,000 after just one more trade. It does seem like if you get lucky, you can make a load of money very quickly. And if you're a bit more into this type of thing, you could really easily start scanning these sections and purchasing some stuff very cheap and selling it incredibly high. I just don't really have the patience or honestly the interest in this type of thing to get that done. Either way though, still after 100 million as our goal today. And you do have a very small dock there? Yeah, absolutely tiny. Please don't crash into this. If we even tap this dock, it's going to break. It's just around there, showing the issue of having such a big ship. Can I please stop? No? Oh, this is so awkward. Yes, okay, I would like to purchase all of your oxygen. Or at least, all I can fit into my inventory. Thank you. And now, to sell that to, I think, the chemical factory, if I was correct. Oxygen to the chemical factory, yes indeed, which is... Which is... Oh, over there, okay. And so, one more successful trade, which brings us to 46 million. I've been at this now for about half an hour, so clearly I'm not doing this optimally at all. And once again, telling me I can't sell anything to this sector. That is very, very annoying. Two quick jumps and a lot of my money later, let's see if we've made a lot of profit with our items. I've just went ahead and went over to somewhere over here, can't quite remember now, which had one of the accelerator factories in addition to a different factory which was selling turbines incredibly cheaply. So let's dock, sell goods, and we have 1,000 turbines, enjoy. We have 39 neutron accelerators, and we have 224 proton accelerators, bringing us up to almost 70 million. And that was very, very easy. This time round, knowing which items I should really be going for, it made everything so much faster. So, I really do feel like, once you've done it for a while, everything is all good. We are about to make a lot of money. As you can see here, 600 of the neutron accelerators and 728 of the proton accelerators are currently available for less than half price and just above half price. These can be sold for a lot of money to research stations. So, let's go and collect every single one we can. So, where are you? You are there, okay? Let's collect those, then find ourselves a research station, sell them all off, and hopefully be very, very close to our final goal. I'm also trying to look for a body armor factory for the military outposts, but so far, I simply can't find one. I'm now down to only 6 million credits, and my cargo bay is completely full if we go over to here. As you can see, I have been upgrading my cargo bay quite a bit, but even so, we now have 363 neutron accelerators and 728 of the proton variants. Our cargo hold is now a grand total of 16,000. We could go higher, but that would require the conversion of some parts I would much rather keep their current aesthetic. So all I need now is some research bays, unlike the one over here, which of course has no docks. Hello, research station. Would you like to purchase the stuff I have currently for offer? You would. In fact, almost all of them for more, well, far more than I purchased them for. However, not as high as I've seen it, though. I have seen other stations purchase for far, far higher. Here we go. So let's find our item on this list. Sell two stations, rather, I should look for. If I had the electron accelerators, I'd be very happy right now. But of course, that's the one I ignored. Uh, still plus 22%, although I have seen some research stations without any of them in stock purchase it for as high as plus 80%. So probably not getting my full money's worth here, but considering I purchased them for minus 50% and now I'm selling them for plus 20%, that is pretty good. Was it minus 50%? It was around about half. It took me a few jumps to get here. My mind has frazzled a bit since. Hello, research station. Uh, um, no, I don't want to research right now. I want to sell things. I'll sell you all of these. And I will sell you as many as you will purchase of these. 166 million credits. 
Oh yeah, we figured it out lads, it's all about finding the items which are easy to sell, knowing where to sell them, and then purchasing them when you find them cheap, when you're out and about. 166 million credits. And I still have some more stuff to sell, I didn't even manage to sell all of my cargo. I still have 28 of these things in stock. Here's the average credits of 112915. So yeah, I'm really happy with that, clearly trading is the best way to make money, hands down. And after a bit of practice, you can clearly make a lot of credits. So with that, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel and, most importantly, shows that Avorian is a series you would like to see continued in the future. In the next episode, we're going to do our final, final preparations and hopefully, maybe even go through the rift in that episode. Because really, there's not all that much to do. Just upgrade items I've already got on me, I have the credits, I can easily purchase the resources, and then once we get to the gateway, we simply create vehicles there. So I'm going to make eight sunfish, each of them will hold a single one of the artifacts. They don't need a, what's the name for it, a captain or anything, all they need is enough mechanics that the vehicle doesn't disintegrate, and then they just sit there forever and the gate will open, and we will go through, and likely be obliterated. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.